the process shown in the color plate is okay so here we have a probe we have a defect and this is a clinical diagnosis procedure being carried out okay as we can see there is a probe that goes into the defect over here and they are trying to find out if there is something wrong with the tissues so what are the option bleeding on probing okay bleeding on probing done with a probe correct does it go till the level of bone no it is till the level of gingival sulcus so it is only till level of pocket depth or sulcus depth not to the level of bone so it is not the correct answer bone sounding okay now what is bone sounding bone sounding is nothing but trying to explore the position and architecture of bone using a probe so this could be a correct option next is pocket measurement again pocket measurement is not to a bony level it is not a bony level kind of a procedure it is only soft tissue that is you place the probe in the sulcus and you measure the depth of the pocket so this is not a correct option and measurement of attached gingiva now about attached gingiva that is you see the width of attached gingiva by measuring the pocket depth or the sulcus depth and the height of the mucogingival junction so that is also a soft tissue related procedure and so that is why this is not a correct option now coming to bone sounding which is the right option bone sounding also known as transgingival probing so as we can see in the image let me just make it easier for you transgingival probing trans meaning through gingival means through the gingiva okay so through the gingiva under local anesthesia the probe is inserted along the margin of the bone and it is walked into the sulc into the uh, structure like this so you can feel the osseous crater or any defect which was there present near or around the tooth so transgingival probing or bone sounding is the correct answer for this the transgingival interdental probing depth is used to provide a guide for the placement of subgingival scalloped incision so this is important when you are doing any surgical procedure and you have to give a subgingival incision this is also important for crown lengthening procedures to see where the uh, bone is present so that accordingly you can maintain the biologic width so it could be crown lengthening with osseous reduction or without osseous reduction it depends on bone sounding the transgingival probing depth is the distance from the gingival margin down to the bone okay so this is the transgingival probing depth it is measured by inserting the probe into the gingival crevice through the attachment apparatus and down to the bone transgingival probing is also called bone sounding so this is something that you have to remember bone sounding is also called as transgingival probing